There are many different ideas put forth when it comes to maximizing muscle hypertrophy. One idea is that muscles should be trained according to fiber type. This idea suggests that predominantly slow twitch muscles should be trained with lighter loads for higher reps. Given slow twitch muscles are highly fatigue resistant and produce low amounts of power, whereas predominantly fast twitch muscles should be trained with heavier loads for lower reps. Given fast twitch muscles fatigue quickly but produce greater power. But do these ideas work? Should you be training muscles based on their fibre type? A recent paper by Schoenfeld and colleagues aimed to determine just this. The muscles investigated were the soleus, medial gastrocnemius and lateral gastrocnemius. These muscles were picked as it's believed the soleus is predominantly slow twitch while the two heads of the gastrocnemius are a mix of both fibre types. 26 untrained males had one leg assigned to use a heavy load, which was a 6 to 10 rep max weight, while the other leg was assigned to use a light load, which was a 20 to 30 rep max weight. Each leg, with their assigned loads, performed the standing calf raise and seated calf raise for four sets to failure twice per week for eight weeks. To remove any potential confounding effects of exercise order, different combinations of exercise orders were performed throughout the protocol. The first four sessions looked like this. This structure was repeated four times, totaling the 16 sessions the participants performed. Ultrasound imaging was used to obtain thickness of the soleus, medial gastrocnemius, and lateral gastrocnemius before and after the training period. Measurements for all muscles were taken at 25% of the lower leg length. What the researchers found was that neither muscles substantially favoured the use of heavy loads or light loads. In other words, the slow twitch dominant soleus and mixed fibre type gastrocnemius both responded similarly to the use of heavy and light loads. Therefore, this study does not support the idea of training muscles according to fibre type. However, as with all studies, we should consider its limitations. This study was conducted on untrained young men and so these results cannot necessarily be applied to other individuals. Only the soleus and gastrocnemius were investigated and so these results could not necessarily be applied to other muscles. Thickness of the soleus and gastrocnemius were investigated at a single site, which was 25% of the lower leg length. Differential growth could have occurred at other sites of these muscles. Muscle biopsies were not taken in this study. Its possible fibre type may have varied dramatically between individuals, but as we'll see in a second, the likelihood of this seems low. Lastly, the study lasted eight weeks, Perhaps fibre type specific hypertrophy may manifest in the long run. But of course, future research would be needed to address this and some of the other limitations with this study. Nevertheless, on a practical level, there doesn't seem to be much of an appeal to training muscles based on fibre type. Based on numerous studies, the vast majority of the lower body appears to display a fairly even split of slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibres. However, as alluded to a few moments ago, the non-use of muscle biopsies in the previous detailed study is likely not a massive deal, as we have good evidence to believe the soleus is predominantly slow twitch, while the gastrocnemius is of mixed fibre types. But the rest of the lower body on average appears to be fairly split between slow twitch and fast twitch fibres. The same applies to the upper body. Numerous studies again demonstrate that the upper body muscles are also quite evenly split between slow twitch and fast twitch fibres. Even if you as an individual do have muscles that are predominantly slow twitch or fast twitch, apart from the fact the study detail in this video does not support the need to train muscles according to fibre type, there isn't a practical and reliable way to know. There have been previous suggestions that one can determine whether they're more fast twitch or slow twitch depending on the number of reps they can achieve with a sub-maximal load. One example suggests that if you can perform more than 9 reps with 80% of your 1 rep max, the muscles involved in the exercise are more slow twitch dominant, whereas if you perform less, those muscles are more fast twitch dominant. A 2006 study by Doris and colleagues did find a statistically significant relationship between the number of reps performed with a 70% 1 rep load on the leg press and quadriceps fibre type composition in untrained women. However, the relationship wasn't particularly strong. Its Pearson correlation coefficient was minus 0.48. Additionally, an indirect method was used to determine fibre type. In a study by Terry's and colleagues, whom did directly assess fibre type through biopsies, 
the Pearson correlation coefficient between vastus lateralis fibre type composition and reps achieved with 70% and 85% 1RM on the leg press for young men was less than 0.2. In other words, fibre type had little role to play with the amount of reps one could perform with a submaximal load. Taking this together with the rest of the video, the current evidence suggests that for the time being at least, training muscles according to fibre type is not a consideration that needs to go into constructing a training programme.